Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. There is a new alert that has been added to this Universal 9 with the Birds of Prey episode. Uh, apparently the way to be able to get the lair is to complete defeat the Clock Watcher. Uh, as you can see in the description it says exercise extreme patience in the Birds of Prey episode. From what I understand, once you complete the solo mission, and when you reach the end of the mission, you have you have to wait. It's that simple. You can see that little timer over here. I assume that's all the time we're going to have to wait. So obviously I will use the power of editing. So let's wait. Stay on target. Stay on target. So as you can see, the little timer is going down. So let us wait some more. So pretty soon now. I didn't really time it. Uh, I probably should have. But uh, I would say you have to wait roughly at least uh, half an hour, maybe a bit more. The feeling is almost like watching your toaster, waiting for your toast to pop. Okay, so the timer seems to be expired. So that's how you can get the volcano hideout. So if we go to our inventory, yeah, I have a lot of junk. So here we have the volcano hideout. Uh, it requires level eight, grants ownership of the hideout volcano, cannot trade, cannot sell. So you add it to your themes. It will also give us access to the matching backup henchmen. Uh, the volcano hideout unlocks less core henchmen. So we have to consume it. Oh, let's consume our little box while we're here. So as you saw, we got Defeat Clock Watcher. So we are going to change our lair so that we can use our new lair. Uh, some of you guys often ask me that, so let's uh, go to Relocate Base. And here we should have the new lair. There we go, the Hideout Volcano. So we can set it up in Metropolis or in Gotham. Uh, it seems to be mostly all around uh, Gotham, although nah, there's one or two in the middle. Uh, there's one on uh, Arkham Island. Obviously on Car Arkham Island you have to spend uh, 25 source marks and uh, 3250 cash. For the rest it seems to be a whole bunch of uh, just 5 cash. Uh, that's probably what we're going to do. Uh, since uh, this is our friend Firestorm, uh, let's, put him, uh, let's put him here close to the Metropolis University. So you can see where it located our, our lair. So let's go back inside. So I've used this character mostly for the, uh, it kind of fits with the theme of the lair. But also uh, the lair, our Firestorm lair, didn't have really anything in it. So as you can see, sadly, the lair is about uh, the same size as the dive. Oh, there's a nice uh, big window here. But it's still a pretty small lair. And some of you often ask me how we can customize our lair. This is pretty much how. So we're going to enter decoration mode. So let's put... Oh, I did not unlock a free placement mode just yet. Oh, actually there's no... Oh, that's nice. I think the dive has like a, a pillar here and a pillar there or something like that. Uh, this one seems a bit more open, so I'll, I'll take it. So let's put our free armory here. Let's put the other one uh, well, right here. And also we can put our amenities. So usually I put my mailbox here. Here let's put our teleporter. Decisions, decisions. So sadly in this layer, we're going to be able to put only one, two, three, four, five amenities. So here, let's put, uh, let's put our R&D station. Let's put our R&D vendor. Oh no, actually, let's put the bank. 
we'll put the let's put the sorter vendor here and let's put the bank here actually so sadly there's the sparring target we won't be able to use the respect station the R&D vendor uh, and the broker eh, doesn't matter and once we do that we have to re-imprint our armory sort of and there you go so this is the the new volcano layer it's a nice looking layer uh, the only the only issue i have with it is that it's it's a small one uh, once you gain access to all the amenities it's a bit of a waste to have to to not be able to to fully use the, the layer but oh well what can you do also we should be able to use uh i'm not sure i should use the backup with this guy so let's uh, replace our cells. Well, we just had enough to do that. Uh, normally I would not do this, but uh, just for today, uh, let's go get our backups. And then you have to purchase a boost for seven source marks. The boost lasts for 60 days. And so in here, we should have all the backups that we have access to. And here you can see the dive hideout. Oh, let's take it because we don't have it. So here we have the Enchment Uplink Device Volcano Hideout. So this is what we want to take a look at. So let us consume the Dive Hideout so that we can use it in the future. And let us equip the Enchment Uplink Device Volcano Hideout. Also, as you can see, uh, we cannot use them in PvP. The strength of your allies depends upon your unlock mainframe upgrades and limited by the number of active cells in your generator. I hope it made sense. And now let's get this party started and summon our henchmen. Oh, they're pretty. They're some pretty cool looking henchmen, actually. So I've changed the bank in my lair for the sparring target so that we could try the, the new henchmen. And that is part of the issue, sadly, with the small air. The small air is, is fine in itself. The only issue is that you're limited with the amount of, uh, of amenities you can have in your lair. So it's a bit of a pain in the butt to have to constantly have to switch your amenities around when you don't have access to all the amenities in your lair. I wish that even for smaller lair like this, they would allow us to have uh, 10 amenities. Uh, sadly, that is not an option at this point. So let's summon our old friends. And let's try them in battle. So they seem to be using uh, end blast. Well, actually, our little friend here uses uh, dual wheel. Oh, actually, no, the big guy uses end blast, the rifle, and dual wheel. So you should have roughly two guys who will do uh, range attack. One guy that will do melee. In theory, uh, all the henchmen should pretty much be uh, as effective or as powerful as each other. But uh, I have to admit, I never did crunch the number to find out if maybe some henchmen are actually a bit more powerful than others. Oh, and sadly, they are gone. So overall, it's a pretty cool looking lair. Uh, the only issues I really have with it is uh, not so much the size. The size is uh, shouldn't, wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, the real issue I have is the amount of amenities. Uh, seeing how this is about the same size as the dive, we only have a limited number of amenities, so that is the one thing I, I don't really like about this lair. But overall, it's a really cool looking lair. The big nice window is actually really nice. It gives the illusion that the lair is actually bigger bigger than it is. I wish we had, uh, I wish we had options for all the lairs to be either the dive uh, the regular layer or the bigger layer like the Brainiac or the Atlantis layer, but that's a, it's a minor nitpick at this point. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. 
I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point. So if I don't answer a question right away, I just search in my videos. Odds are I already made a video that answer your question. And that's going to be pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.